What is up everyone, this is Mogam here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6. So this is the error code that's been coming up when you are trying to update your PlayStation 4 to the 9.0 version and a lot of people have been basically getting jacked up and screwed over because of this update. So um, we're going to basically get right into this. So if for some reason you have already updated your uh, PlayStation 4 sadly and this error has been coming up, I apologize, Sony sucks. <laughs> um, we're going to basically get it fixed and if you haven't updated it, great, I want you to basically follow along on what to do is to essentially fix this error. Uh, now, if you can turn off your console uh, either via from the console itself, or if not, just directly turn it off from there. So holding on to your power button, essentially just turn it off and make sure the white light on the right side is flat. It's not flashing anymore because we are going to enter into safe mode for this console to be able to basically fix this. Now, what and this needs to be completely turned off. No rest mode, none of that stuff. It needs to be completely turned off. So I'm waiting for it to turn off right now. And let's see, the white light is still flashing. All right, it has stopped flashing. So the way you enter into uh, safe mode is you want to hold on to the power button, not the eject button, the power button for about five to eight seconds until you hear two beeps. Uh, my console is not going to make a beep because it sucks and it's broken and it's old. So I just guesstimate about five to eight seconds. And I assume when the second beep will basically happen and I'll kind of just let go. Um, you're gonna see right now when I kind of let go, you'll see like safe mode essentially pop up. Boom, right there, safe mode. Uh, it's basically popping up. Now, it tells you to connect your the DualShock 4 using the USB cable. A lot of people always message me saying, I don't know what that means. You literally need a USB cable connected to your controller. Make sure it's either original or a good one, not a crappy one that you found somewhere, I don't know, some bootleg one. Make sure it's a good one. You wanna press the uh, PlayStation button and then you'll be in here. You cannot use the analog stick. You have to use the D-pad. Now, the first thing you wanna try is you wanna rebuild your database. You definitely wanna try to rebuild your database. It might take a couple minutes to a few hours. Do that. It'll either bring you back to the console or if you were bricked ish it'll bring you like it just won't turn on come back into safe mode once you do that and then go to option number three and update system software advice do number three within number three update using internet you'll see i even have the latest version and it'll still tell me to do it again this is a great thing that you can actually just do it from here and it'll it will almost always do it successfully and cleanly from here and not cause you any issues so definitely do that from here and don't just in general, just a rule of thumb, don't update your PlayStation 4 from there. It's always better to do it from here. Uh, so if for some reason this doesn't work, you can follow my other video. I will leave it in the description in the links to update via from USB storage device. You definitely want to try that out next if that doesn't work because this is going to not download it because there's very possibility that it's your system, your network that's causing issues. So when it's downloading, it's getting corrupted. So you want to have a USB storage with the file version latest of 9.0 and then download it via that method. Again, I do have a video that shows you how to do that. It's fairly straightforward. So you want to kind of do that and then go from there. If for some whatever reason that doesn't work, you may sadly have to go down option number six or seven. Number six is going to delete and seven is going to delete everything off your console. Six will do it without a USB device and seven requires a USB storage device. So you want to basically get the, uh, again, same video. I will leave it in the description below. It'll show you how to get either the update file or the restoration file you put into the USB device and you basically will have to do this. Again, sadly, this will delete everything off your console, but if you had PlayStation Plus and you were uh, had your save files on the cloud, that should be great. Or if you had like a um, SSD card, like, oh crap, like myself like this, and you have the game saved in this, you'll be probably good to go from that perspective as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Wanted to make this video showing you guys how to essentially get it fixed. Hopefully you can follow these suggestions and you just ha you can avoid using step number six or seven. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. Helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more coming out. Peace.